Hey, right, parents, listen up. What used to be a standard debate in a committee of the Utah State School Board is now turned into, well, heated debates over many hot button social issues. Crisis in the classroom reporter Chris Jones has already shown us how the debate over social studies became increasingly political and also cumbersome. For example, when the Standards and Assessment Committee reviewed the social studies standards, one member made 123 motions asking for at least 152 revisions. Now it's time to look at the science standards that are being reviewed. The standards are required to be rewritten every seven years. In the past, the board would spend a few hours hearing the proposed changes, then approve them. But that is not happening in the current political climate. Okay, wait, we, we need to... It's painful to watch these board meetings. Mom of two, Nicole Newmarker, watched some of the debate on Utah's proposed science standards. The hearing stretched from a scheduled four hours to 16 hours over three meetings. This approval process, I think, has been um, bastardized a bit, to be honest. This isn't a policy class. We're not talking about laws and regulations. Do you feel like 16 hours kind of plowing through these standards was a good use of the time of the board? No, I was really frustrated with Board member Sarah Real does not speak for the full board There's and was policy. in those marathon meetings. And we it's know. Not. <laughs> Okay, well, you're making it political, but... She says the new political climate on the board and members like Natalie Klein and allies presented over 120 proposed changes, including a proposal to erase any discussion or any mention of how humans might affect the climate. And I'm telling you that this is about weather, and we know that humans impact weather. We've seen humans it. Humans don't impact weather. <laughs> according to you. So now we're wasting a lot of time on things that don't actually support kids. That Newmarker says eliminating talk about our changing weather undermines Utah's education of kids. If we want to be competitive in businesses and in industry, then we shouldn't be politicizing science and education. Utah's process for approving education standards is long and established. In this case, over a two-year period, as many as 20 science teachers helped draft the standards. Thousands of comments from parents were considered. Then the Standards and Assessment Committee reviewed them. Then the final stop, the school board for approval. In the past, Real says the board listened to recommendations of the parents and teachers and approved them. Not anymore. It was really frustrating for me because that's a very top-down approach. Um, that's a very um, heavy-handed way. We reached out to board member Klein in an email to ask her why she made the suggestions that she did. We also wanted to know if she thought these meetings were a waste of time. She never responded. I, I just listened to... And we can't, we can't change the weather unless... In the end, after 16 hours of debate, frustrated board members voted to erase all the previous changes and simply approve the original parent-teacher proposal. It passed by a vote of 8 to 7. It doesn't need to be political. We're talking about science. Real says the vote was unexpected, but she says the board needed to move on. For me, I think that there are so many things that we should be focusing on in education to support our students, and this is not one of them. Some point, I'm sure. <laughs> now, despite that vote, we understand another board member, Jenny Earl, is expected to float some new changes soon. For Crisis in the Classroom, I'm Chris Jones, KUTV2 News. Chris, thank you. And if you have a tip to share with our education team, we'd like to hear from you. Call us at the number on your screen. You can also email Chris and his team at education at KUTV.com.